Hi everyone, I'm Anne-Marie and I'm Sally and welcome to your ice assembly for this week. We're still taking a look at changes and emotions and at the start of every assembly this series we're doing a check-in to see how we're feeling today. So let's start the check-in. All right, so Anne-Marie, how are you feeling today? Today I am feeling a little bit nervous actually because I have a dentist appointment a bit later and uh, yeah, I always get a little bit nervous about the dentist. Sometimes a lot nervous, but I've had a few dentist appointments recently and so I'm a lot less nervous than I would normally be, which is good, but still I've got a little bit of butterflies in front of me sort of feeling. Yeah, that, that I mean, dentist is not fun, but very important, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. So that's, that's kind of what I'm trying to keep in mind, is that this is good for me and it is a good thing to do and it will be over very soon. Mm -hmm. Yes, so <laughs> there we are. How about you, Sally? How are you feeling today? I am feeling very tired mm. and very overwhelmed today. My house is full of boxes, I'm moving house on Friday, and I just feel like I live in a box at the moment mm. and I just want to go to sleep. Um, but it'll be well worth it after all the busyness is done. We're going to have a lovely new house to live in, so I'm looking forward to that. But right now, I just want a nap. <laughs> yeah, a few, few more busy, busy, mm. busy days to go, and then lots of making your own house look really, really cool. Yeah, it'll be really so lovely. lovely. Lots of tea around my house. Oh, looking forward to that. <laughs> All right, so that's how we're feeling today. How are you feeling today? Before we start, let's have a look at what these characters have in common. So we have Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh, we have Cubone from Pokemon, we have Hero from Big Hero 6, we've got Sadness from Inside Out, mm. and Elsa from the Frozen movies. Have a think, see if you can realise, recognise what those characters might share. It is sadness. They all have sadness as part of something that happens in their, their stories or in their characters and they all deal with sadness in different ways. So we don't enjoy feeling sadness. It's one of those emotions that we often try to avoid. But in our lives there are times that are sad and we can't always avoid that feeling. So it's important that we talk about it and learn about it to help learn what we can do when we do feel sad. So first of all, it's completely normal to feel sad when something sad happens in our lives or in our worlds, or when we go through a big time of change as well. Change can often make us feel a bit nervous or a bit sad that things aren't staying the same way that they always were. In fact, it's really important that we let ourselves feel sadness when something sad happens and we don't try and bottle it all up. Because just like how we explored with anger last week, when we hold back those feelings and keep them hidden, they just build up over time and then they come flooding out later on. It is good to pay attention to the things that make us feel sad, because sadness shows us our values. Sadness often points to where we feel love. And that's why we feel sad when we lose someone important to us, or something important to us, because of the love that we have for them. There is nothing to be ashamed of for feeling sad. So how can we spot sadness in ourselves and in other people? You might immediately think of crying when you hear about sadness, and that is the most obvious way of spotting when someone is feeling sad, but it's not the only way. In fact, there are lots of different ways that we might feel sadness. So we're going to take a look now at the different ways that we might feel sadness in our bodies. What does sadness feel like? Where might you feel sadness in your body? You might feel like crying. Or you might not really feel anything at all. You might feel quite numb. You might feel empty. Or overwhelmed, like you're under a big wave. You might feel like your body is heavy or that you don't have much energy at all. 
you might not be able to sleep. Or you might find that you're sleeping too much. You might find it hard to focus or concentrate. And you might feel like you don't want to do anything, not even the fun things that you normally enjoy. You might find that you want to hide away from other people and be left alone. Like the other emotions we've explored so far, we can see that sadness might look a bit different in everyone. What might help you when you're feeling sad? Talking to someone about what made you feel sad. Christians also pray and talk to God about how we're feeling. We might ask others to pray with us, or for us too. You could try writing things down or drawing a picture of how you feel. You could give yourself space and time to cry if you need to. We should never feel bad about crying. And we should never make fun of someone else for crying either. Crying is one of the ways that our bodies can help us to manage feelings of sadness. Have you ever been really sad, had a cry, and then felt better afterwards? That's because crying does actually help us to feel better. You could try taking a walk or doing some gentle exercise to help get you moving. Maybe a gentle stretch can help. Make sure you're taking care of your body by making sure you've had enough to drink and to eat. Our minds and bodies rely on each other to help us feel well. If we don't take care of our bodies, it makes it much harder to take care of our minds and our emotions. And sometimes it can be nice to give ourselves a little treat, like our favourite food when we're feeling sad. Maybe take some time for some self-reflection. That's looking inside to see if there's something we're holding on to that's keeping us feeling sad. Maybe we're feeling hurt by someone, or we're feeling angry at a situation. Or maybe we feel upset because of a mistake that we made. Maybe we need to forgive someone, or maybe even forgive ourselves. You could ask for a hug, or find a plushie to hold. If you have pets at home, spend some time with them. A dog, a cat, bunny, or other fluffy animal that likes to be petted can help us to feel calm, and watching fish swim around a tank can be very soothing. You might like to find some music to help you. It could be an upbeat song that gets you dancing, or it could be a calmer song that fits with how you're feeling. And you could find some fun or calming videos to watch on YouTube. So how can God help us when we're feeling sad? Well, Christians believe that God can help us in whatever situation we're in, whatever emotion we're feeling, but especially when we are experiencing feelings of sadness and really low mood. We've got a few Bible verses here which will help us to pick out a couple of the ways that God helps us when we're feeling sad. So our first Bible verse tells us that God understands our emotions. It's a very short verse and it just says, Jesus wept. And it happens at a time when one of Jesus' good friends had passed away. And even though Jesus was on his way to do something amazing, mm. which was to bring the man back to life, he still felt a great sadness and wept along with the guy's family because he loved his friends. This shows us that when we feel sad, God understands how we feel and Jesus has felt the same as us too. So our next Bible verse shows us that God promises to be close to those who feel sad. The verse says, the Lord is close to the brokenhearted. And that's from the book of Psalms. Now King David, who wrote this Psalm, this song or poem, he often used music and songs as a way of working through his feelings, whatever those feelings were, but especially feelings of sadness and reminding himself that uh, God had promised him to always be close. So he used this music and these lyrics to remind himself thinking, yeah, okay, I feel sad right now, but God has promised to always be with me. And this is a promise that Christians hold to today as well. And finally, Christians believe that God promises that sadness won't last forever. Here's a verse from the last book of the Bible called Revelation. It says this, he will wipe every tear from their eyes and there will be no more death or sorrow or crying or pain, all those things are gone forever. Sometimes we feel like our sadness will last forever, but this verse tells us that one day we will leave sadness behind. 
Okay, so those are just a few small verses from the Bible that we've picked that might help us to understand how God can help us when we feel sad. So Christians believe that God understands our emotions, whatever we're feeling, and that he himself has felt those feelings too. So he really does know what we feel like. And that God has promised to never be far away from us when we feel sad. In fact, God draws close to us and Christians hold on to that so that we don't need to feel lonely when we do feel those times of sadness. And also, Christians believe we can look forward to a time when God promises that all of those things that make us feel sad will be left behind. Those are just a few things that Christians hold on to when we feel sad about different things that might be going on in our lives or in the world around us. Maybe you'd like to think about them too. So, as we always finish up with a time to reflect and a time to pray and to talk to God, we're going to do that now. So maybe you'd like to join in with some of those reflection questions and the prayer at the end. Even though we don't enjoy feeling sad, we know it's an important emotion to listen to. Can you think of the last time you felt sad? Was there something that helped you through that feeling? Do you know anyone who is feeling sad today? What can you do to be a good friend to them and show them that you care? If you're feeling sad today, what would you like to try to work through that feeling? Remember, you can always find someone to talk to about how you feel. And you can always pray and talk to God. Maybe you'd like to pray with us now. God of comfort, thank you that you understand all the different emotions that we feel. You know what our days and weeks are like. You know all the ups and the downs of our lives. Thank you that you know what it's like to be sad and to cry. Please help us when we feel sad, not to push those feelings away, but to listen to what they tell us. Please help us to find good ways that will help us through times of sadness help us to be gentle friends to one another. Amen.